Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. As you can see I'm a bit thirsty. Let's go and sort that out first of all before we do anything else because we don't want to drown or die of, th die of thirst. But what you can do, and I didn't realise, you can take shift right click this and you can just use your hand on the on, on source water blocks. But they have to be fresh, they have to be water, not fresh water. It doesn't work on the, over here where the fresh water is. So that quickly is one trick to get if you haven't got a bucket around or a glass jar to fill up, you can survive that way. I thought that was quite good. Now, listen, last thing, episode we were doing the greenhouse. And since then I've put some windows in it as you can see. But I say in a big but it seems to be a worm pretty well broken actually. I've also replaced the farm from peat farm to being a, a gourd farm. So we've got pumpkins, so I don't have to go manually chopping those down. So the problem is this. These things here have got no reason that one. But this has got a modest queen in it, so it's too cold. Um, this one had a, the opposite. So what we want to then do is to make it hot. So we want to make it modest, basically live in deserts here. So if you can see, this is what it says. It's got that one. And... Let's have a look. Temperature. It says the normal temperature at the moment is 83%. And it doesn't really change very much. It goes a little bit up and a little bit down. Um, and I can't get it to go any other way. So I was trying to try and heat this. This is a heater in different places. You can't replace these blocks with heaters. They have to be outside the area. So I was trying one up high, one down low. And if they're working, they should be red. So I, what I then did is I went and looked on the issue track and see what it was around and um yeah greenhouse is well pretty broken <laughs> so that was a bit of waste of time wasn't it i'm sure it won't be broken forever but it needs a rewrite so what the developer says so that's the end of that line for the time being to do something differently with peas in that case and the other thing i'd like to go and have a look at was the trees i've got a few more varieties of trees and it's spring by the way as you can see we've got uh, some changed blocks there so let's go over here this is where the interesting ones are and as you can see here's so i've got a date palm tree and that's actually got one of those which is already changed i think i've got the grafter with me yes i have a few and you can see that one's slightly green light green is it night time already i'll have to have a quick sleep if it is let's pick that one off see what we get so what do we have at the moment? We have a date palm sapling, which is what we've got here already. So we'll have a quick sleep while because it's night time, and I'll see you in a few seconds. In fact, let's think about that. Let's have a look at that again. So the date palm sapling. Let's look at the uses of that. And there are no tree breeding, so it won't it won't go into anything different. But it might, of course, change its properties a little bit. Wood cutting something. Right. Okay. So we've got also some more leaves changed here. Let's have a look at these ones we picked up this time so I picked up a red uh, cherry sapling so look at the uses of that one tree breeding so it can breed into something else so we can get common walnut sweet chestnut we've got silver lime so we could expect that one or a lemon tree but unfortunately we just got another hill sapling so I won't be too interested in that one there's another block there I thought saw it was red as well where's that gone to oh there at the back can I reach that one no have we got any blocks with me Yes, I always have some blocks with me. I think it's a good uh, a good principle to have some blocks with you whenever you're travelling anywhere. So let's have a look. Let's put them down here. I think. Yeah, we can reach that. Down. What do we pick up this time? A second hill cherry sapling, but a slightly different one, obviously. And some more butterflies from. Let's take it down with us from forestry and what have we got here sugar maple don't know what that will give us let's have a look a sugar maple sapling so they may be crossed and probably they're slightly different so i'm not going to bother wasting honey on those to see if they are until we actually get a different tree type but as you can see there are some different tree types here because i was actually going around looking for different trees that might be one what's this one a lime wood so that's a Okay, maybe we can pick this one off. 
Can I reach it from here? I think so. Where's it gone to? So actually there are two blocks which have changed here. Yeah? I've still got a bit of uses on my grafter. Oh yes, you can see there I got a different what did I get this time? Silver lime sapling and a cherry hill sapling. So this one did mutate to Jer Cherry Hill. Which is probably not so useful since we've got those already. So anyway. Let's go down. These bees are working busily away, as you can see. So we've got a few more uh, comb and plenty of honey, so that's all right too. And this one, one more. It's not very generous. <laughs> they got blocked because of the sky at one stage. So the next thing I want to look at is the mutated ones. All the genetically manipulated ones. Where's it gone to? Do you know, I'm getting lost to my own base again. It's over here. Not gone far enough. These. So now we actually are starting to get some common drones. Uh, this met, so we have to analyse this lot. Let's just take them out of it. I can't figure out how to analyse them in there. So if we have to, it's easiest to do it here anyway with a portable analyzer. So let's have a look. What's that? Is that a common? So that's a common meadows. This one is a mix between a forestry and a meadows. And this will probably be the opposite. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to put these two together. And we don't care about this one. It's actually a meadows common. Um, maybe we try this. These two together. I think these two will be better. It'd be better, so we'll do, we'll do that and see what happens with these two. I've actually got a few common bees now as well, so let's put everything in here. So some of these are actually, I think one of these, that's a pure common drone. And a lot of these are common meadows. And this is a common cultivated. They've even got one cultivated drone, I think. Yes, this one here, I've got a oh, said princess. It's a cultivated common, which is the next generation up doing all this mixing and matching wasn't such a good idea so well, let's walk along here Woo, you go very fast concrete that's actually next on my agenda I haven't really got a proper agenda today because it was all messed up with the um, I've got cherry as well it was all m messed up with that thing not working what else I was doing between episodes I was actually playing with them um, on this bit here I was playing with flying machines but they're a little bit too glitchy in 12, I think, so. Oh, did I put those saplings away? Yes, I could, I did. All right, let's go and put the honey in, this, in, this, uh, in the centrifuge, and let's go and put, that's that one there. Let's go and get some gravel and sand for concrete. I haven't got any sand, uh, I haven't got any gravel in there yet, so look how many we got. Should be getting some sand out. I tell you what we'll do, we'll take a stack of this anyway. I can't see, oops, I can't see what's in here. It doesn't tell me, it just tells me it's working. That's empty. So there's actually some gravel going to be processed. I put in about 14 stacks of gravel and split them into two. Uh, cobble, so I mean, to get some sand. So I think we've got some sand. Yes, we've got enough sand in here for a stack anyway. Now to make concrete, you need a colour. And something so these are the colors here and I'm, let's try the orange one how do we make the orange concrete so we need orange concrete dust which is this one so we need some orange dye so we can make orange dye i think just red and yellow is that right yes so we've got plenty of red and we've got plenty of yellow i think i saw it just a second ago when i was looking no now where have i put the dyes <laughs> challenge if I don't find it immediately, I'll come. S right, I'll make some more. We'll come back. I'll see you in a second. Right, I've got some orange dye now, so we can make some orange concrete. So the recipe for that was this concrete powder like this. Pretty straightforward. That'll make um, quite a few, actually. It's eight per two stacks. Wow. I'll put that dye away in there. In fact... Yeah, let's put it over there. Actually, I've got, I think I've got chests full of stuff in here that I don't want. Let's 
put it in there and then it can then it can stay with those two dies which i also harvested just a second ago so what you do with this concrete dust is you put it beside water so i'll tell you what i'll do i'll get my i'll get my hammer ready where's it gone to here and i've set up a little water oops water area just over here which of course frozen into the, so as you put it down it breaks like that so you can take your hammer then and do it again and of course you can keep doing this until you've used the pull you're i'm not going to spend all this time doing it, of course and it's night time again my goodness that went fast so with that we can then come along here and maybe we can then change this in here so for example let's have some orange trim on this one see how that looks actually i'll come back in a second when it's daytime see you in a minute now it's daytime you can see it's better that looks reasonably good i've got some gray with me what does it look at like? change the sides on this because these are smooth surfaces i think this probably looks better maybe that's a bit too smooth let's put the faces that one and swap this one over here actually that doesn't look too bad at all does it maybe we'll make some of these i'm still playing around with this don't know what best color is let's try some making some yellow concrete and there should be some more sand and gravel made now i hope it doesn't matter if it doesn't really uh, because we've still got some there and i could have taken that of course nope still got still not pressed that process that through i guess it's working but i can't hear it oh yeah it's working that's strange i wonder why it's not making any noise because the seat is usually far too noisy that's better <laughs> That's better. Let's take another stack of sand. We'll have to be able to replace this sand anyway. So let's make some yellow. So I only need half of half of those, I think. Eight. I think we need eight, don't we? So let's make some yellow dust. That'll give us 64. Fine. Let's go and put these down, see how these look. my water thing is I didn't think it was as far away as that one set should do shouldn't it so what I'm gonna uh, what else I'm planning to do is concrete to so make some roads around here there we are I probably could even use the dust for that matter. Good, nice, slightly lighter colours if that makes a difference. Oh, yeah. It looks like sort of a yellowy sun, doesn't it? Right. That's enough of that for the time being. Next thing I was going to do was to go back to the nether. Because I've um, got it wrong. I think I've got it wrong anyway. So I'll tell you what, I'll see you in the nether in a few seconds. Right, I'm here in the fortress. I think I'll just take this in case. Excellent of fire resistance just in case now what I've understood about this is we need and I'm not sure this is actually big enough I think it might not be big enough but from the inside block here if we go seven blocks so let's do that trick I did last time which is count out seven blocks here and then put them down now according to what I read oops a bit too fast I might be right, actually. What they says is they another skeleton, another wither skeletons only spawn at a crossroads, and it has to be seven blocks back from this one here. It's the actual building area. So what we can do is we can just put it down like this, and we'll start from this one. So it's going to be seven blocks. It was too near, though, was I? Oops, that's eight. So they should spawn here. I haven't seen any spawning here yet. It might be because we're always just coming in fairly quickly and they don't have time to spawn. Other thing we're gonna oops, I must put a lag there. I'm gonna the other thing we're gonna do is that 
is to break down the make sure we've got our thing in hand of course the important bit they should also spawn here but I'm going to break this thing because I'm getting fed up with it to be honest with you. it makes life a bit difficult so we don't need it as far as what I know there's plenty of there's plenty of these spawning elsewhere so the other place that should spawn is here on this crossroads but I haven't seen any here either so I'm just wondering whether it's here they won't spawn because it's covered over with nether bricks but I do quite often see them spawning down here but that doesn't make sense they do sometimes spawn here because this is actually another area I wouldn't expect them to spawn in but they're supposed to spawn in crossroads at crossroads get rid of that going oh, maybe I'm lucky so I've got to redesign this anyway so and also clear away all this nether, all this nether brick around here for 120 blocks if I want to do what I want to do But it would be nice, to, I hope, I'm going to try it here and here. I'm going to clear an area away here and see if any do spawn in this in this area. You're supposed to go down six blocks from this block here and that's the spawning area. Of course, there's not that much for them to spawn on at the moment, so we'll see. So that's what I'm going to do for that. So anyway, I shall see you back at base in a few seconds. Right, I'm back, as you can see. So what I'd like to do for the rest of this episode is to just start doing some of the Weisberg um, airships. So let's start with doing those, I think. I've never made these, so I'm probably going to make a mess of it as usual, but we'll have a go and see how far we get. Now the airships, we I think we need this thing to start with, an airship workbench. Do we have a manual airships? A village book. Oh, there's a village names. Okay, so let's look for. I, th I knew it's got a slightly sp interesting spelling. Now there's probably a manual on this. Um, yes, Craft One, Volume One. Now I think that's already available. Let's have a look. I've got. I haven't picked it up with me, but I th here I've got a. They are, oh, the rustic one. I actually want to do rustic as well. As another episode coming up, I think. Let's have a look. I think I've added this one in afterwards. So we right click this, so it tells us about this one. It's actually a bit small. So basically assembly, so we have to basic, what do we have to do? Let's start off by looking at a few core components. Select the items below for the thing. So we need to make these logic chips first of all. So that's used for great upgrading stuff and we need gold nuggets, redstone and cobblestone, pretty cheap really. So then the workbench next. So we need to make a workbench, which is a chip and a table. So we can, uh, a crafting table, let's do that. Because I know I've got chips already made. Even if I don't know where I put them. <laughs> now 30, I made 30 chips already. Fairly straightforward recipes, aren't they? So we just need four pieces of wood. I'll craft, a, I'll craft one of these out. And then that goes on the top of this, and it's right down the bottom, isn't it? Let's take them like that. So then we get the workshop bench. Now, I don't know how much space this is going to take up. Let's just put it down there for the time being. Oh, not too bad. Okay, so let's go back to this book. I don't need that with me. Let's just go back to the book, actually, and have a look at this again. So now we've done basically assembly workshop. So we need to make a balloon. So let's start up by looking at a few of the core components. Okay, select, so okay, we've done that one. The airship balloon leather that can be processed to create a durable balloon. This is the core component for all the airships. So leather and string. So I'm not sure how many of these we need, but let's have a look. What's it got, page, next page? Okay, so this is what we need then to build the airship. So we need a balloon, four um, leads, and these two components, which I don't know what they are yet. And the boat. So let's see what we can do in making those bits and pieces up. Now, I'm not going to craft all of this on camera. So I'll come back when I've crafted it all. 
Well, I've got all the bits and pieces now. So actually, I thought about it. I'll craft it up in front of you. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Let's start with this. We need an airship frame. So we can make one of those. I made a minecart before. And then we need two of these engines. So let's shift click that in and make three. I only want two. So let's just take two out of that. Shift click it out. And we get two engines. I guess we need one of these, an airship core. So a magnet box I've got already. You can make those actually. The recipe for that was four magnet creams. You know, obviously you now have got plenty of <laughs> other um, slime balls and plenty of um, laser rods. I've got three from that last little trip, which wasn't too bad. So I'll make one of those up. So what else do we need? I've done the balloon already. That was fairly straightforward. And I think that might be it. Let's have a look at the book. Unfortunately, it doesn't remember the page we, how we were before. That's, let's have a look at this. It must be... Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, I just need to make the leads up. And I think we've got all the rest of the stuff. So we need four leads. I'll do that and I'll have a sleep. Um... one I can make 15 of those right I only want four that's good so I'll make the f yep that's it and I'll make those up and come back in a few seconds so we've got everything so I guess we just need to put this into place now do we so I think that go on the corners like this that goes in the top this goes I think that goes, not sure where that goes, depends where, there I guess. The boat goes in the middle and then the two engines go to the side, is that right? So this then makes this thing, now what have I got to do is just click it, oh yeah, just click it. So I have an airship. So let's put it down and see what it looks like. That's a good space over here, probably here. I think it just gets packed up and you just put it down, enough space. Shift right click. Oh yes, <laughs> I had to throw it. So there we have our basic airship. Now it needs fuel. I did notice on the page before that it needs fuel. So what does it need for fuel? I think it was under basic assembly. So we need some of this stuff. And I've got no idea how much of this we need, but these are. Visaline or Visaline pellets. So I'll just try a couple. I'll make a few. I'll make a few bits and pieces of this. How much coal I've got? Plenty. I'm not going to make a stack because I'm a bit short of red. I'm not short of redstone. That's not true. But I haven't got enough to do that much for the time being. So let's just craft those together. Let's take. Let's make a stack of this stuff. Then we can put the redstone, I've actually got redstone blocks in there, so let's put those back and put the redstone back as well. And uh, this is the fuel that goes into the um, all versions of the airship. Good. So now I guess I get in it. Now, what is the fuel? Now, that's the fuel. That's the fuel. How do I put the fuel into this thing? <laughs> Challenge number one. Um, don't know how to put the fuel in this. Let's do I right click it. Oh, that's a challenge for me. Shift, uh, shift and you come out of it. I would have thought you'd just put the fuel in it somehow or other. It's got no interface at the moment. That's not so good. I thought you could put the fuel into these slots. It looks like there's a fuel can't put it in here can I no how do I get it in tell you what let's look at the book again because <laughs> it's got airship integration here now that we have our airship, airship made it's time to use the items to spawn it okay we did shift hold shift and right click it to throw the air okay that's these explosions are safe okay that gave me a bit of a shock okay you can right click it to begin riding the airship will then see that HUD appear yes we've seen this information of the airship so we've got the indicator so how do I give it some fuel okay so then we can interact with that 
airship and press R. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, R sorted my thing. Okay, so then I've got to go and sort out the control options and controls. So we need to go and find R. Let's search for keys R. Inventory sorting. Let's just turn that one off for the time being. Range building gadgets. Don't care about that one because that's not going to. The one that was affecting was the show recipes. Open airship GUI R. I wonder if we can do Shift and R on that one. That would be nice actually. And then I can put the other one back here. So let's just try that in that case. I'm not sure it'll work. No, it just sorts my inventory again. <laughs> right, hold on. So I'm going to have to remove that one. Controls. Let's press the key again and go for R. And just press escape on that one and done that. Press escape and then we should be able to just shift an R. Nope. The ship. Do I have to get out of the ship before I can do that? I'm already out of the ship. Okay, so that was a bad choice. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back to the options again and controls. And the reason I'm actually not hiding doing this is because you might have the same problem yourself. So let's go to the shift right click. What did I press? Here we go. Let's reset that. Open airship go okay R. Let's get in it again and press R. It's still not working. There must be too many R's in the thing, so I'll tell you what, I come back when I found a way to do this. Well I figured it out, it didn't take too long actually. So what I did is this, I went back to the options, went to the controls, and then what I did is toggle free. So that shows you what's available. And the one I chose was M because that was on here. So if we then go back to uh, keys and press M, we should see it down here as being open airship GUI. So I've done that. Press escape, and then we can press M. Now we can see what we're going to do. So now we can put some fuel into it. Let's put in a couple of blocks. Oh, that's not going to last very long, is it? And then we press space, I think. And we go up. I've got to be careful I don't press shift because if I do that I'll fall out of the airship, won't I? So space takes you up and then you just move along like normal. But I don't go up very high. So what I was hoping to do was to go up very high, but I can't go up very high. So this is just like the boat controls. So you're pressing A to move right and D to move. Sorry, <laughs> A to move left and D to move right. And then we want to go down. I think we hold down the X button so I've got what 15 well, I've got 15 minutes of travel have I okay that's not too bad so let's press X is it X to go down yes it is phew because it's such a temptation to press shift otherwise you just jump out of the thing so where's it gone to oh it's that good let's get in it again press M Let's take out what fuel we've got. We've got an, oh, actually, it was a stacker button there. Okay. So the fuel doesn't last very long. So I guess there are some options to do that. So, so between now and next time, oh, yeah, that's how it looks, I will go and do some more research on this mod, and I'll see you next time. So bye for now.